Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I really wanted to talk about an animal that we know very little about. The prehistoric crocodilian known as the Dinosuchus is a creature that has shown up in a lot of weird places in Jurassic Park's history. While never being seen or even referenced in the original Park trilogy, it got its start in the franchise by appearing in video games around the time of the Lost World. And not too much later, it was actually supposed to be sold as a toy before plans fell through. So despite not being in the movies, dedicated fans will have no doubt heard of its existence before. And with the release of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, a ton of new information surrounding the canon of the film franchise was ushered into the lore in a very big way. And while we do tend to focus on viral marketing sites as well as novels for a lot of that sort of stuff, nothing really makes a bigger impact than the films themselves. So it was pretty shocking for a lot of us to learn that InGen had access to, and at one point in time had even used, the DNA of Dinosuchus. During Eli Mills' pitch to Gunner Eversaw at the Lockwood Estate, there exists a small scene where you can actually see what kind of dinosaurs were used to create the Indominus Rex. It's all visible through readouts on their hybrid's hologram, and one of the reptiles that it looks like got blended with all of the other prehistoric DNA was none other than this specific crocodilian from the Cretaceous. For those of you that don't know, as an animal, Dinosuchus was no joke. The largest adults are believed to have reached sizes of around 35 feet in length, and they're believed to have fed on hadrosaurs and other unsuspecting dinosaurs that unluckily ventured too close to their waters. Basically, they were super crocs like their cousins Sarcosuchus and Purosaurus. Only, this specific species looked far more like what we know crocodilians to look like today instead of those other breeds. So with InGen having access to their DNA, you'd think that we'd be able to see one make an appearance in the films. But unfortunately, this is yet to ever really happen. In fact, the evidence to support the company having actually cloned one in the film canon itself is actually really thin. Sure, they used some of its genetic code to design the Indominus, but that doesn't give us a confirmation on whether or not they cloned an individual itself. That being said, I do have to also point out that, originally, there was a scene in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom where Owen Grady was going to walk through the Isla Nublar jungle and pass the skeleton of a certain prehistoric croc in a small creek. While this animal is never directly identified on screen, it's currently the only evidence we have to support the idea that InGen cloned an extinct crocodilian. And since Dinosuchus is the only species that fits that bill, it's entirely possible to put faith in the idea that this is supposed to be that species. In fact, it's kind of the only prehistoric croc we can really theorize about. While some species in the films are hard to see or even get information on, there's usually an excuse as to why we haven't encountered them just yet. Dinosaurs like the Proceratosaurus had all of their DNA destroyed in the sabotage of the original Jurassic Park. Segisaurus DNA was never completed, and Herrerasaurus didn't really get a cameo, but we still saw it show up in the Telltale story. Dinosuchus is one of the rare instances where we've got some pretty good evidence to suggest that the creature's DNA was synthesized, but there isn't really any dedicated scene to even showing it off. When it comes to something like the Dilophosaurus being absent, it's obvious to us because we've seen it before. We know what it does, what they look like, and how they behave. Edmontosaurus, even though we know it exists, it fell back into extinction. But what do we know about Dinosuchus apart from the fact that it's a part of the franchise? Honestly, not that much. Now obviously, with its DNA not showing up in any sort of list from the 90s, it's safe to say that John Hammond probably had no hand in the creation of this prehistoric reptile. So logically, it means that this guy was probably a product of the Mizrani era. So if it was properly bred like that skeleton would imply, it would have been during the time of a fully operational Jurassic World. Unfortunately, even with this sort of speculation being made, I really have no clue on whether or not we'll ever see it in the flesh someday. Whether it be in live action, in a show, or even as an action figure, Dinosuchus truly is one of the most elusive creatures I think I've ever seen in the whole film series. Even things like the Metriacanthosaurus showed up on websites and in new video games. Dinosuchus? Man, there's really just the bare minimum to go by. And even that can get deleted in post. Still, I find this predator to be a really interesting animal. I can't really say for sure if we'll see it someday, but if we do, I hope its appearance is half as good as what it was in the old arcade game for The Lost World. That was truly an awesome experience.
So what do you guys think about the Dinosuchus? Do you think that we will ever get more info revealed on where it comes from? Or do you think it's just going to be kept hidden and not really discussed ever again? With its DNA being used to form the teeth of the Indominus, I actually think it would be really cool to just learn whether or not it was open to the public during Jurassic World's time on the island. But hey, that's just me. Whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you all even continue to watch these videos. And I want to thank each and every one of you for all of your continued support. Now I'd like to thank all of you for watching this video and hope you all enjoy today's content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you on the next one guys, and as always, take it easy.